Q93, Alexandria's number one hit music station. Joining us this morning is Duck Dynasty's Willie and Corey Robertson. Guys, good morning. Thanks for calling in. What's up? Good morning. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Doing good. Fantastic, man. Fantastic. So what, uh, Duck Dynasty wrapped up about four years ago, and now you're taking part in this new show, Home with the Robertsons, on Facebook. Tell us about that. Well, yeah, it's, a, uh, it's a, like a moving talk show, and... Um, uh, it's where we invite guests in, and uh, yeah, we have a conversation. They get the conversations get a little tough. We we tackled some pretty hot topics in America, and uh, but you know we thought that's kind of what we needed. We felt like we needed that in our country. Uh, there's a lot of people taking sides and really arguing and fussing and fighting, and so we thought, hey, let's see if we can maybe help that. Yeah, yeah, guys definitely don't shy away from tough topics. Um, what do you hope people kind of learn and take from the conversations that you have throughout the series? Yeah, I think it's really just about listening, which kind of seems to be a, a lost art. <laughs> I think we're, we read the headlines or we, you know, we read the headlines or, or look at that this first initial thing and make a judgment on what somebody thinks and does or whatever based on that and um, you know we really wanted to take some time to like listen to each other and there's no better place to do that than in the home and so we actually did it right here in our house here in Louisiana and um, brought people in and just had good conversations and you know the cool thing is I think whenever you do that you realize that we're actually more alike than we are different there's more Mm -hmm. things that we agree on than we disagree on and um, and we're all really after the same thing. And, you know, I don't think we're going to solve our world's problems by yelling at each other or, or blocking each other or unfriending or any of that. <laughs> I think we're going to solve our problems by actually coming together and, and trying to find find where, um, where we agree. Absolutely. Some of these conversations, though, can be kind of tough for a family and for uh, your guests on the show. But also, is there any pressure having these conversations knowing that the public is also watching? <laughs> Well, I mean, that's kind of the idea that we, we realize that a lot of people are, are watching and we really can't get around these issues because, you know, Corey and I have a lot of children, they're getting older, and so we have these conversations anyway, you know, around our dinner table and uh, what what we see on the news and what we see in politics and, you know, in our state or whatever it is, you know, we're, we're having to constantly have those conversations. And, um, and so the show's not, we're not trying to straighten anyone out or, you know, get somebody down here and tell them off and tell them, you know, um, anything negative like that. We're just really just trying to have a process to where we can just talk. And so, um, and, and maybe we can just be a little kinder to each other and, uh, you know, we can debate issues and we can, I mean, there, there was passion, you know, and, uh, and, and partly too, cause Corey and I wanted to hear for ourselves, you know, and so we, we read about things or see things. And I think, uh, we've seen that with us. Uh, somebody will say something about us, which is totally not true, you know. And so we wanted to actually sit face-to-face with someone and, and, and really get the idea or the heart behind, you know, what it is that they feel or, or how do they feel and um, and just see if we could help in any way in, in, in those situations. Also, I think that, um, you know, with cancel culture going on, anytime you put something out there, you're always like, whoa, yeah, there's a risk that um, – you know, people are, are not going to like it. They're going to reject it, and there's some, you know, way you're going to get canceled over it. But for us, I think, I guess it probably prepared us that we did reality TV before. We mm-hmm. know that, like, not everybody's going to like what you do. You know, you just got to be yourself. And, and so that's how we try to live our life, you know, not really worry about what everybody necessarily is going to think. But if we're doing something that we're proud of, that we believe in, then, um, you know, just going with that absolutely i love the idea and tell us about some of the special guests you're going to have on the show yeah yeah we had uh, uh we've had all, we had tim tebow uh he was on uh this week actually he and his wife uh demi lee were down and uh tim and i have known each other for for years and um and he's back in the news now <laughs> yeah new tight end for the jaguars how about that <laughs> yeah no, that's crazy there's so much debate about that and i really don't understand it so <laughs> <laughs> i don't either <laughs> can help it out yeah i really don't understand why people are now now people are concerned over roster spots in jacksonville i'm like didn't they win one game last year <laughs> like who cares about their roster so uh uh, I think, uh, yeah, he was down. We had uh, um, all kind of people. We had the people. football players. Yeah, the football players. Uh, Aaron yeah. Foster and Mike Thomas and Nate Butler, which was a really interesting conversation. 
Yeah, it was. Uh, we talked about kneeling for the flag, and, and those guys were some of the original ones, uh, you know, who actually uh, kneeled for the national anthem. And so, uh, yeah, that one got a little heated. We brought Uncle Si in, our <laughs> our <laughs> Army veteran, for that discussion, and uh, I didn't know how that was going to end because <laughs> it started out hot. And, uh, uh, but, you know, by the end of it, man, we were all buddies and uh, uh, keep up with each other. And so, you know, we just have a, uh, a little different of uh, difference of opinion there. Yeah, we're all in this together at the end of the day. And you're from Louisiana. You live in Louisiana. Of course, there'll be some Louisiana activities throughout the series too, right? We had a lot of Louisiana in there, so uh, stuff that I'm sure all your listeners will is secondhand to us. But for our guests, it was a whole new experience. Uh, uh, we had uh, Mendeecees Harris coming here. He had never fished in his life. Never. <laughs> dropped a line in the water so i got actually got to help him catch his first fish which was super cool but it yeah was, we did it was tiny but he got one yeah. <laughs> yeah but uh but he did get one and yeah he was like a little kid it was so fun but yeah we did some crawfish uh, we set some crawfish traps uh we went mud digging i actually flipped up side by side with Corey in it yes, so, he did. Uh, fortunately no one was which injured. we realized too that we call it mud digging and everyone else in the world i think calls it mudding you should try it. It's fun. Just find some mud and drop around in it. <laughs> we have been talking with Duck Dynasty's Willie and Corey Robertson. You can check them out at home with the Robertsons on Facebook Watch. New episodes drop weekly every Monday and Thursday. Uh, Willie, Corey, thanks so much again for calling in. It's been great talking with you guys. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for having us.